Welcome to the Always Ask videocast. I'm your host, Amanda Busby, the lifestyle expert. For over a decade, I have been working with people to develop their style, organize the chaos, and create impactful experiences that help them live a more intentional and impactful life. With each episode, I am on a mission to bring you the most influential minds, people that have inspired and impacted my life on my own self-discovery journey around the globe. Together, we will shake up everything you thought you knew and help you to engage in life in a completely different way. Always ask, connecting people, creating experience, curating events. Enjoy the show. Okay. Everyone, I am your host, Amanda Busby, and this is Always Ask. And today I am really excited. I am here with the Circle Magazine crew. So Lori, Danette, and Beth, and they are coming in from Texas. I'm in Minnesota, and we are so excited to share with you a little bit more about their story. And long story short, I'll kind of give you the two minute update on how we met. So awesome. Such divine timing. I was in Texas and kind of looking for my next step and where I wanted to go. And as the lifestylist, I'm always collecting beautiful people kind of around the globe and picking their brains and figuring out ways to collaborate. And I walked into two rivers coffee shop and saw these women at the table, the three of you, I think there were a couple more even there with you too. And they're sitting around chatting and this amazing energy is just like radiating off of them. And I'm like listening, kind of hearing, and I'm like, what is going on over there? Like, what is happening? And I'm sitting there journaling about, you know, what I want my next phase to look like. And words like collaboration came up, words like making an impact came up, words like creating a movement for, I actually think I wrote down like creating a circle of women or something like that, like a movement to connect came up and I'm writing all of this down and I'm listening to them and I'm going, I have to go over and say something like I just felt, <laughs> felt so drawn. And so I walked over, we had an awesome conversation and they were in the process of launching their first magazine, which I have with me to show everyone their very first magazine and ended up having a great conversation with them about the circle, this magazine that they created in COVID during COVID to connect women from all walks of life, connect women, people um, from all walks of life and really create a movement and a community and a magazine. So anyway, we're here today. I'm now working with them as their resident lifestylist and I just can't wait to introduce all of you to the world. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks. You're welcome. So, so many ways that we could go to even start, but the three of you, what's, what birthed the circle? I'll just kind of start simply and, you know, I'll, they're pointing, to, they're pointing over to you, Beth, but oh, yeah. if you could kind of, you know, you know, bring that into a couple of words, like what, how, how did this come about? We'll kind of start there. Uh, I think it was just in reference to the fact during the time that we were at with so much division in our country and our world and um, watching friends get divided and not talking. And it just felt the stress is like, how do you bring everybody back together? What is going to connect us? And and that again, you know, to, to be the same that we were before in that we were all connected. Yeah. But um I think we, I saw a video of Lori and Danette doing their thing that they do like on, I don't know, eating or vegetables. And I was sitting there thinking, she's oh, like eating her vegetables. Well, <laughs> they always do these little crazy guess, healthy, living, healthy, those two. healthy living. And we were, you know, we have worked together on different projects and I thought, you know, maybe that's it. Maybe we just need to come together and, you know, try to intertwine our circle circles because you know they had a different circle of women that they were kind of in and I was in a different circle and a lot of my friends are very diverse and in, in their beliefs right. and thoughts and so I don't know just came about and I called and said okay let's meet and they did they showed up I don't know if they were really into it when they showed up but they did come <laughs> wow I don't know if we knew what I was or what we were getting into or what I was getting into right I knew yeah. <laughs> she knew did Lori say I did Yes. She, like, she called me and she basically said, Hey, I have this idea. I'm going to run it past you. I think I, I have this feeling I need to like, we need to start a magazine. And I was wow. like, I'm in like you it, did. I, you didn't even think no, about it. I which didn't is even, weird. I did not. Yeah. I even, thought I was going to, I, I no. was going to do a lot more talking than that. Yeah, you thought you'd have to kind of convince a little bit more, but it was yeah. just, 
I'm in. She knew. I think it's where we all were. I think they were getting, they were getting hit on social media just for being happy during a really sad, hard time for the rest of it. And um, I think it was, we wanted to bond together and say, Hey, you know, we're still here. We're still supporting each other. Mm -hmm. But I will say that when Lori called me and said, Hey, I want you to come to coffee. We're going to go meet with Beth. She's got this idea. I think, mm-hmm. yeah, I think you need to do this with me. Right. And um, I actually went to the coffee shop to talk her out of it. Oh, because- I, I remember you telling me that, that you're like, she actually went to this say, no, do it. like, none of us know how to make a magazine. You have no time for that. Well, I have no, we have no time. We still- you know, even though we had, you know, taken, mm-hmm. you know, everybody had a little extra pockets of time during COVID. Mm -hmm. We were still like busy and, and, and running another business. And so I was like, Oh, when, when the world goes back to normal, whatever normal is, (laughs) this is just, this is too much and not going to do it. We're not going to do it. So I actually went to talk them out of it. And as soon as Beth shared her vision and why she wanted to do it, which was to reunite women. We had this conversation about um, something that has, that has really struck me over the last few years is that we can't um, understand somebody unless we take the time to listen to their backstory. Right. And so this was a way for us to start sharing people's backstories Mm -hmm. so that there could be understanding and there could be unity around that. Mm -hmm. Um, because I'm a firm believer that you don't have to, to believe what somebody says, mm-hmm. but you have to understand it. Right. And that's that's what true. creates community and, and creates space for all of us to live harmoniously, you know? Mm-hmm. So, and I think for me, yeah. when Beth asked me, and I, th- I think the only reason I answered so quickly, yes. And I, we were <laughs> going to ask that why so quickly, yes. cause I'm sure there's been other opportunities. You said, any let me think time, about it, or probably, I'm not sure. Yeah. I probably would have said no any other time. But because we were in a state like COVID had kicked off and everyone, like everyone's afraid, like nobody knew what the future was going to look right. like. This affected the entire world. This was right. just like time. a national right. thing. It was, it was like the whole world, like the, you knew from that moment on things are shifting. It is right. not going to be forever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Everything is shifting. And it just felt like when she said, do you want to do this? Like, it didn't seem scary. Like, it just seemed like. Why not? Not not that I would. None of us are going to be around later, anyways. But it just felt like, why not? Like, right. just go for it. It, it. Yeah, I think so, and I think that was one of the good it was a qualities bold. from from, yeah. from COVID too, and the way our our the world was divided with political views and stuff like that too. It yeah. made people like make take risks that maybe we wouldn't have taken yes, totally. because we were like yes. you know exactly why not why not yeah. try it why not do it and we really didn't have mm-hmm. a plan um no. we even met after that with no, uh, I, I go, that? no plan yeah. let's just go uh, let's see what happens <laughs> well literally that's how we did and we met with like several other women yeah and we started, we asked other mm-hmm. women if they wanted to yeah. join. We started with a group of five that we had some younger girls mm-hmm. part of it. Um, yeah. And they decided that they're like, Hey, you know, this is going to take too much mm-hmm. time. So they decided not to continue into it. Yeah. And I think you did. You said like Lori had said, like, what's my role? And did like, what's mm-hmm. your role? And, you know, we really didn't know where everybody no. fit and it just naturally mm-hmm. organically happened. And, you know, mm-hmm. who knew that Lori was a graphic artist. She didn't even know. <laughs> I mean, she taught herself on like, you know, YouTube <laughs> and she's amazing, you know, and mm-hmm. Danette has always been amazing on mm-hmm. social media and reels and things like that. And so it just kind of fit into that. Um, and I'm a gatherer, you're, you're, you know, you're I'm just a visionary gatherer and, you know, everybody in the pot and, well, well and that's how we went from just being a magazine to right. a movement. And I think that's right, one of the things right. that we're really passionate about is that this right. circle is a movement because she's amazing at yes, gathering people yes. and, and putting on events mm-hmm. and, and just bringing mm-hmm. community together right. and, right. and so. And then our social media presence and then having the movement in print. I mean, we have all these different ways for people to be Mm -hmm. involved and and share what's passionate to them. Right. And And I think that's such divine timing too. Like that, that magic and that spark with like the three of you going, yes, yes, yes. And other people supporting as well. Right. But like, that is how something so 
I, I just think of like magical or divine is born when it's like right people, right place, right time, right direction. And I think, I don't know what you're doing is so needed during COVID now after COVID, I mean, in any period, any time in the world, but especially going through that, I remember talking with you about the isolation that happened with COVID and Beth, like you said, the division, watching that at your Pilates studio and in your different friend groups and going, okay, no, like we're not just going to settle for that. We're creating something to help bridge that gap. And Mm -hmm. that I think is what you do so beautifully. Like Danette said, like creating that, you know, understanding around someone's backstory and giving them that platform. Not that we all have to agree, right? Like that's, that's not possible, but that we have that understanding and compassion and love and, and we can connect without all the division in the way. Absolutely. And I think when we get there, if we keep striving Mm -hmm. for that, what's next is better. Mm-hmm. than what we even had yeah. prior to the pandemic. Mm-hmm. And that, yes. that gets me really excited. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Totally. Yes. Well, it's also the platform bringing so many different people in with different stories and, you know, you can, it's find yourself here is part of it because yep. there's different people with different perspectives about life yeah, or di- yeah. different situations. And like you said, I mean, it's, you can't judge a book by its cover. So let's read some people's stories where that we give them a platform. It's like, tell us who you are and why, mm-hmm. why are you, you know, what you believe in or what, you know, it just, it, it just makes you hear or or see them in a different tone. And that's what we all want is to Mm -hmm. be seen and heard and accept it for who we are and where we are at that moment. So I think that's, that's the, the most thing that really, you know, the most exciting thing for me too, is like getting women from all different, different perspectives and, and also men that support women. So it's not, you know, we still are bringing, you know, you know, men in that are like saying, Hey, we believe in what you're doing. And, um, I think it's brought out a lot of, I've met a lot of different people. Yeah. We've, we've all met mm-hmm. a lot of different people and heard a lot of different stories that we mm-hmm. like had no idea. Mm-hmm. So if, you know, that's what we, if you have a story to share and you feel that it's something that was life-changing right. for you, I promise you it's life-changing for someone else. So if you share it and use it as your platform, then you're going to help somebody else navigate the chapter that they're in. And I think that is yeah. what we all probably really like I also love like every story we put their Instagram account or something on there a way that so if someone reads their story and they mm-hmm. want to reach out to them we're we're connecting right you, you know what I mean that so they can continual. contact that person privately and be like hey you know I'm Reggie experiencing story. the same thing thank you for whatever mm-hmm. it, it's not just reading it we're trying to con- connect, connect women them. together mm-hmm. um just to help you know just to share experiences and no, yep. we're not alone in yeah. any of this. <laughs> and not just their stories, but yeah. I think one of the things yeah. that I really love about the magazine is that we give women who are artists a platform, oh, yeah. whether they're poets right. or they're photographers or they're right. artists, right. whether they paint or draw or, mm-hmm. or, or whatever, um, they have a platform with our to magazine to, yeah. Yeah, to share, share what's kind of going on through their medium. And, mm-hmm. and so that part is really cool. I love seeing what people send in and, and kind of the story behind it. Mm-hmm. Submit, submit anytime, you know? <laughs> yes. So absolutely. And I love that. I, mean, I think people are fearful to like share that part of them. I know that I like to do artwork and I think all of us are mm-hmm. creators in our own way right. here. And sometimes it's so personal when you are writing a poem or if you were painting a painting, there's so much emotion that you're right. putting in that thing that you're creating when you're passionate about, you feel very exposed mm-hmm. to show the world. So it's a little scary. Um, and you know, we realize that and we want to, we want to like showcase people in the best form that we can and give them that and, you know, a space for it, but, uh, to, to have an opportunity to put it out there. So, yeah. And you don't have to be a writer. No, I have people, we have editors, we have people that help that process out. We just want your story and we can help you with the rest is Mm -hmm. what. Yep. That's and that's really beautiful too, that you're not just saying submit this perfectly edited story yeah. with this perfectly curated picture. You're yeah. saying, share your, share your heart, share your soul, be vulnerable. We will tweak it and lay we'll it out and edit. Right. Well, is that Lori? We'll help with grammar or whatever yeah. else. Yeah. 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 Don't even worry about that. I can't even that. stop yeah. you from yeah. putting a story. It didn't stop me from making a magazine and I can barely <laughs> spell my <laughs> name. <laughs> periods and adjectives. And I'm like, wait, what, what was I supposed hold to get? On, hold on. 
Yep. So I, it, yeah. it, it, I love that you take that out of it, right? The, the excuse out of it of like, oh, it's not perfect. We are just going like, let's all be human together and right. share that vulnerable side so that we can relate. And Beth, I had this question for you earlier now that we're talking about it. Um, it's coming up again of why is this so important to you to be able to share your story and be vulnerable and have that connection? Because all of you created it, but you had this vision. Like, were you sitting at home, like drinking a cup of coffee? Were you in the grocery store? Like what gave gave you this passion of like, I have to create this thing where women can share their story. Where did that come from? Uh, well, I was sitting in, in, in like on my porch on my swing. So yeah, cause it's where I was sitting the whole pandemic, I think. Um, yep. Yep. I never moved from the swing. <laughs> being authentic is just like trying to be real because I think it took me till I was 50 almost. I'm like, 50, going to be 59. But before I was like, not afraid to show maybe who I really was and, um, speak my own voice for, with my, with my thoughts and feelings. And, yeah. um, because you kind of go through society and your friends and your circles trying to like connect and like, you feel like you have to be like everybody else or dress like everybody think by every, you know, finding your, like what really is on the inside and bringing it to the outside. And it's hard for women. I think it's hard for all of us. We're mothers, we're daughters, we're wives, we're partners, you know, whatever, it's just trying to find your, yourself in that. And I think that's kind of where it went. And I wanted people to be like, you're fine. You're fine right where you are, who you are. If you, you know, whether, whatever you believe, whatever you think, what, you know, it's just, you're, you're loved, you're worthy and your voice is important. Whether, you know, someone's telling you it's not, it is. Yep. So yep. I think mm -hmm. that that was kind of the vision of why it was so important, mm -hmm. you know, for other women, because, you know, I've, when real life hits, you know, and we take off, none of the other things really matter, but right. just being, you know, connecting each other emotionally and connecting our souls together as humans, yeah. you know, yeah. we're really just a bunch of balls of light, you know, bouncing <laughs> around <laughs> yeah. 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 We're just kind of dancing around. Yeah. So, I mean, it's basically, and you know, it, you know, we all know it as women, as soon as we connect with somebody and there's mm -hmm. like a, a moment where you're like, Oh, I totally, I like you could you can feel a friendship brewing from the moment you meet him in the first five minutes, you know, you're connected to this human. Exactly. Um, and I think that's important because there's a reason and there's why. I mean, Lori, we we wouldn't have met if Lori wouldn't have came back and really wanted to be my friend. I was really thinking, what I do you her. want? <laughs> You're like, why do you want to be my friend? <laughs> it's that awkward, like asking a friend I'll talk to her. So I can't. I mean, that really happened. <laughs> Because I thought, what? you know, I mean, it was just out of context. She, yeah. Yeah, it was where I was working and she kept coming and say, and she was just standing there. And I'm thinking, what, <laughs> what do you want? What do you want? What's going on? Yeah. There's, there's yeah. a, like, I think that's, that puts all of each mm -hmm. other. We are all on each other's path for a reason, exactly. whether you exactly. choose to open the door and explore the fact of like, so what's this all about? Or you just, you don't know, you don't know what is guiding that. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. I love that. And I think it's like, when you say just showing up in who you really are, it's about like accepting that in each other and being able to, that's awesome. Your journey took you to finally this place of going, okay, like I like who I am and I'm okay showing up that way. And I think that is such a difficult thing for, you know, men, women, everyone, right. To come to that place of acceptance and then showing up fully the way mm -hmm. they are. And I think that's what drew me to all of you and, you know, the movement that you're going through. Cause I've gone through that of, you know, kind of conforming to this way of, of being, or this way of being right. And going, wait, 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 like that doesn't feel good at all. Yeah. I actually love who I am. I've worked on who I am and I want to show up that way and connect with other like-minded people. And to me, I think that's probably one of the biggest reasons that the circle is so successful and impactful is because so many women feel that same way. They're all shaking her hands. That's good. That's good. So yeah. from the magazine is now this, you know, whole movement of events, connection. Like, tell me a little bit more about how that was birthed. I know that you threw a couple of huge live events. I got to go to the second, which was awesome. Um, second event, but how was that part birthed and what was the vision for that? And then where is that now, as far as your, like, how do I get plugged in? Right. If I'm wanting to meet you guys live and be a part of the circle movement, what does that look like? Originally the events were started because we just started a magazine with no uh, working capital, 
capital to start a magazine. Right. It's practical. Um, so you have to like print it. So how do you do that? Well, you get a bunch of people together that know you, that friends, and you give them a show. And um, we just have some great women that we knew that are creators and also, and um, we made a vintage fashion show to start where we actually launched well, it was just launching the actual circle of be, mm-hmm. becoming that. And uh, a lot of people, all of our friends mm-hmm. and family and, you know, people came out and supported us. And it was a great, great event. And it gave us enough money to pay for that first issue to be printed. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, of course, we'd had to have a release party because now we have a magazine and we wanted yep. to share it again. Okay. And we all do. Mm-hmm. I mean, these two women like to put on parties. So uh, in <laughs> general, they really do enjoy doing that. They love themes. They love the whole part. So if you give them the little, you know, here's a topic and you give them a little theme area of it, they run it with just, it. Like all it, everybody just starts adding to it, you know, and we talked about it a lot of times that we, that it's like a, with the whole thing, with the whole movement, with everything. It's like, you know, it's like we're making soup together. I like go, okay, <laughs> let's make soup. And I throw all these things that I think that are going to be really great in the soup. And Lori comes by and goes, man, take that one out. Take this one out. <laughs> I don't really know if that fits the soup, you know, this yeah. is better. And then when it's all, you know, we think we got it. Then Danette comes and puts <laughs> these amazing spices and sprinkles something on it. She finishes it off. Yeah, she finishes it off with one herb that's like, ta-da! <laughs> You know, so her sun shines, you know, yeah. just pops out. So, yeah, I think that's how our, we start working together. It's kind of like we know that mm-hmm. yeah. now. Yeah. And I, our events are just, just I, I mean, I know that mm-hmm. we have had some great parties. We throw great parties, right. but these parties have been like over the top. And, yeah. and it, mm-hmm. also, it honestly is because the community has come out to support us. Right. Our last event was that you were at was called women rock. And we had oh, women. It was amazing. Women bands. Yeah, it was fun. And oh my gosh, just yeah. hearing their music and uh, mm-hmm. which is so part of our movement is, mm-hmm. is yeah. to empower women and give them a platform and they got to do that with their yeah, music. So that was good. really, really great. Mm-hmm. And, and all ages, I think it was fun to do like, um, you know, we have 20 year olds to mm. 60 year olds come to our events and we men and, and, you know, we, it, it just, mm-hmm. it's kind of fun just to like get everybody together. And there's a lot of people that we've met that have just showed up, you know, and come and bought a ticket and, um, and we do like to give back to like the nonprofits and we should talk about, you know, that yeah. too, because that's really important to us to give yeah. to other communities of nonprofits. So our events, yeah. we've been trying to like, we're switching over to like the events are going to be more toward you know, giving percentages to the, the nonprofit. So for a magazine too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the magazine Sponsors. too, each issue yeah. sold goes a dollar goes to a nonprofit and this nonprofit mm-hmm. is pure hope. And excuse okay. me, I'm going to answer that phone and turn no it off. They're busy. They're getting the magazine out right now as we speak. So probably when the video is released, it'll be the new spring issue. So you're allowed to take a little breather. That's okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, but nonprofit. So I love that that you are, yeah, focusing a lot of your events on that too. So you're, you're broadening the circle, right? It's not just the magazine. It's not just the event it's nonprofits. It's bringing everyone in. And one thing that Beth said as well, um, was the different generations. And that I really, really resonate with of, I have learned so much from other women, 10 years younger than me, 10 years older. Some, one of my favorite, favorite clients and friends, they're in their 94, 95. Like I've just, you learn so much from each other. And I love that you're all about promoting that connection, you know, across all generations, across all beliefs. I think it's just amazing. And, you know, such a good reminder to what you can do when you have the vision and the idea and you trust and you go for it. I think so many women get so stuck in, well, how, right? Like what's the 20 step outline to doing it. And you guys just did it and look what you put together. I mean, it's, it's such an inspiration. I think for so many women to say, you know, run with that idea, like take it even during COVID. That's how this video cast was born during COVID. Just do it. We started with we started with our why we knew what the mission was and and that was so strong in all three of us that we knew we knew that the how would come Mm -hmm. we didn't have to know it all right now Mm -hmm. because if we didn't have that in the beginning i don't think may have gotten one issue out and not even you know what i mean you really and we just 
have learned each step. Like when a problem arises, we learn how to fix it. We, mm -hmm. my husband keeps us out of jail with <laughs> legally and everything. <laughs> yeah. we're doing. Yeah, like, okay, that's good. That's yeah. good. <laughs> so, so like, well, that's good to know. Okay. Cause like we're learning. Mm -hmm. We don't, right. don't, don't, don't have, we don't have a background in this, right. but you know what? there's YouTube videos. Who yeah, says that right. we can't do this? Even yeah. <laughs> Right. It doesn't matter. Mm -mm. It doesn't I think matter. The whole thing is when you want to okay. do something and I was just figure out, well, you just, you just do it. Yeah. Yes. We'll just figure it out. Work. But the whole thing is when you want to do something and you're like, like on the fence about it. I mean, there's no, there's no shame in change. Yep. You can change it at mm -hmm. any time. And also yes. you can't be scared to fail. Right. Uh, that's the whole point. So you fail. I mean, if you fail, you fail. What I mean. Yeah. Like, you know, try and, something else, try something yeah. new, right? Yeah, you yeah. start something new. I mean, this has never been to us no. to a get rich scheme. So that makes it a different thing. It's a passion. Yeah. And, yeah. um, but it's not just our passion. It's the people that puts their passion in it. So that's what makes it the really strong. I yeah. think that's the important thing of it. These stories are precious. And I feel like you, mm -hmm. when you're we are representing, mm -hmm. we need to re represent them and be respectful of their stories and mm -hmm. just honor them and put it yep. in the right. It adds a whole new thing to it when you're putting mm -hmm. together this type of magazine. It's not yeah. just like we're not interviewing it. everybody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's, it's like, these are precious and we need to treat it that way. And I think it just makes it really special. So right. I love that honoring about what mm -hmm. we're doing. Yeah. Um, because we're doing it for them. That's what we want. Mm -hmm. I love that. And I know Beth has said before too, that it's, it's allowing and showing people, Hey, I see you, right? Like mm -hmm. I see you and I honor your story and you're honoring mine. And I think that is such a gift, priceless, priceless gift. Um, so before we end, where can people get connected with you? Um, you know, I know there's a lot of different ways. I'll let you kind of speak about them. One I know is the membership site that I'm kind of collaborating with all of you on, and that's an awesome way. So we'll start there. You can, you know, sign up every month to get new tips, new videos. I do style tips and that does some awesome life, life tips and, you know, deep work tips and all of these recipes, ideas. So it's ever evolving. It's new, but that's an awesome way to get connected monthly. Um, and Danette, you probably have a little more to speak on that and then let, let everyone know how to connect with you. Yeah, well, that's just part of things that we're trying because we want this to be a movement beyond the magazine. And so how do we do that? What are some things that would that people would gravitate towards? So we're, we've opened up the membership site. It's only $6 a month. There's all sorts of things in there to, to kind of check out from videos and breath work. And you mentioned the recipes and that kind of stuff. Um, and we've also, we we did because we have such amazing live events, we decided we would take our live event and put it online. And so yeah. we did an event in January um, called Dare to Dream Again. And, and it, we, you know, we had you come and speak and as well as two other women. And it just was so amazing just to hear about what, what, the future might hold for all of us and just to get our dreaming juices going again. And so that is also on the, on the membership mm -hmm. site as well as digital copies of our magazine. And so that's, that's our newest um, platform, but I would say connecting with us, the easiest way to check us out is going to our Instagram or Facebook page. Mm -hmm. So our social media sites are live and up and we're constantly mm -hmm. posting things on there every single day. And so if you want to know what we're up to, that's the place that you need to go check it out. Perfect. Awesome. And I'll tag all of that in the, in the show notes. And then coming up that event, April 3rd fashion yeah, show. Is next, mm -hmm. the next event. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Another and then with that, the new spring magazine will be out as well. So right. super, super exciting things coming. Cool. Well, so awesome ladies to interview all of you. And I'm just so honored to work with you and continue this movement. I think it's really, really important and it's impacting so many people. So thanks for being on today. Thanks, Thank Amanda. Thank you. Thanks. Yay. Bye. Thank you for spending so much time with me on Always Ask. If this was impactful for you, please leave a comment or a review. And if you have any questions, visit amandabusbyinc.com. And until next time, don't forget to always ask.